Hey guys and welcome back to Shenzhen IO. So in the comment section I've been having a, a couple of hints. People haven't been telling me how to do it, they've just been reminding me of stuff that I forget. So um, things like where I'm doing DST10 here, you can actually use DST um, DAT0 or like X10, it doesn't need to be an actual number. So with that in mind, what we can do is uh, remove, can I just remove all of this shit? Uh, right, so what we can do is hmm, I'm sure I can get rid of most of this with that as like with that in mind can I remove that Remove that. I feel like just removing most things, to be fair. Um, so. Right, let's remove all of that. So what I can actually have is... Uh, test of equals... Move x0 acc test if equals acc negative 999 and if it does equal 999 sleep one jump go okay and then if it doesn't then ACC If it does equal negative 1 Move 1, X1 uh, mm. I, need, I definitely need my like, I definitely need a kill switch Can I move this up here? Uh, move 1, X1 Right, uh, this will be the kill switch. Hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I can work that out later. But then, if it doesn't equal negative 999, then test if equals ACC negative 1. If it does, then move. Whatever, just, just do something. Nop. Do, do something. Um. Uh, right, delete that. Do something, jump go. Then, if it doesn't equal that, then what you need to do is... DST... Uh... No, that needs to be moved to the DAT. So whatever comes in is either a 2 or a 1. No, it's either a 0. It's either a 0 or a 1. So 
So DST X0 D80 and move ACCX2. Is that right? Uh, right, that's moving one to Ah, probably should have kept what my whatever my kill switch was before. Uh, change that to X three. Uh, SLX zero test of X zero equals one. Whatever. That's just to to get it to run so that we can test the other. Okay. And then the kill switch, which resets ACC to zero. Uh, right. Move 2 to X1. If it's not, then it moves 2. So, <clears throat> test if it equals X0, 1. Uh, sorry, sleep for 1. Test if it equals X0 equals 1. If it does, then. <clears throat> If x0 equals 1, then that means that uh, ACC is 4. If ACC is 4, then Move one x three. If it's not, test to see if that equals one. If it is, add one. If it isn't, move zero ACC. And then sleep one. Okay, that should be good enough. Um, before you go back to sleeping, move one X three. Uh, no, but what I can do is just have, I don't need that, I just need, move the ACC to X3, and 
Okay, and then what you should do is to uh, x to 4, and if it is, if it's not, then right, that should be the kill switch. No, it shouldn't. Ah, okay. So before anything can do that, I need to do that. Uh, ah, shizzle whistle. Issue is I don't have a, a number here that I can use. Um, and could I just use one of these? Is that not possible? And just do that. I don't think so. I think that'll do quite what I wanted to do. So, this all works, it's just a kill switch. And that's the issue there. Um. So that needs to move 1 to x2. Why not just SLXX0 then? No, not sleep. Okay, we need to... Sad thing is, this is all working perfectly apart from this bit. Because this needs to... it needs to get this... and reset it, but it's like... Well, surely go can be down here then. Simulate. <sighs> Alright, that should be fine.
Beautiful. Let's uh, remove that because it's no longer needed. Probably using a bit too much power, but I think we've got it now. Yeah, so literally just the ability to use DSTX0DAT is just what's basically done this. Yeah. Oh, production cost isn't too bad, but the, the power usage was a bit high. But now I'm happy enough with that. Sweet can't be too careful when you're making robots, am I right or am I right? I'm learning some more casual style English from Joe. And he scared me for a second there. But unfortunately that is all we've got time for in this episode. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. I've been Steve, you've been awesome. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.